Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So, uh, I've been meaning to make this video for a while. It is about uh, digital detoxification. You know, as they say, we live in an age of dramatic distraction. You know, if you were to compare to life 30, 40 years ago, if you look at today, all of us are surrounded by these glowing devices. You have, you know, you got your TV, you have your smartphone, you have your tablets, you have your gaming consoles, you have your laptops. And there's definitely more guys that I miss out, haven't spoken about, but, you know, you, you catch the drift, don't you? There's a lot of, uh, for a, if a person wants to, you know, does not know what to do with free time, there is always some form of entertainment or the other, isn't it? But the topic for today's video is digital detoxification, that is abstinence from the use of electronics or any electronics for that matter. I think the purpose of this this abstinence, the purpose of this this act of abstinence is to, I would say, reclaim your freedom, reclaim your sovereignty, your mental sovereignty. It is to, you know, give your eyes some rest and also your dopamine receptors some rest. You know, it's said that when you indulge in instant gratification, you know, your brain releases this feel-good chemical called dopamine. But the problem is if you, you know, overload your brain with these receptors, it's, there is a chance it's going to make you a duller person. There's a chance it's going to shrink your brain. So that is the purpose of a digital detoxification, to give yourself a break from these devices. Again, I'm not saying using your smartphone is harmful if you or anything, but again, it is prolonged use that you know, results in not only a, a duller brain but also dry eyes. There is a you know this this uh, condition called digital dry eyes or you know computer vision syndrome, where when you look at a glowing device for too long, you know there's a chance that you know. You're not blinking your eyes are not so it results in you know dry eyes. The common solution for that is this you know 20 20 20 rule where for 20 seconds you gotta look at an object 20 feet away. I did try it. It uh, doesn't work that it kind of works, but I think if you want greater relief, you should actually you know, get up from your chair and uh, maybe like take a five minute walk, that is better. Or close your eyes for five minutes, that is uh, something I suggest. So for digital detoxification, um, I understand most of you consuming this content could be a college student or it could be an office worker, people who constantly use electronics. So I understand if you cannot do this every day, but when you have a holiday, you can uh, do it at least once a week or twice a week. You know. Trust me, this will. It is intimidating at the start, but once you get used to it, your brain will readjust. It'll it'll give you ideas. You know, you will be able to do something else in the meantime. You know, it teaches you that you don't have to constantly look at your phone all the time. You, know, you need to. You could read a book. You could play an instrument. You could learn a new skill, you could uh, exercise, there's so much you can do. In fact, you will have more time for yourself. It'll, you will realize that, you know, how much of time these gadgets take away from you. So yes, uh, again, I don't think there is anything left for me to say, you know. Again, I'm not uh, forcing you, it's just, just a mild suggestion that, you know, if you were to try this 
it could, even if it's the slightest, you know, it could change your life. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, if you appreciate my content, you know, uh, like, comment, subscribe. So yeah, that's it for now. Uh, it's a short video, and uh, I hope you liked it. All right. Uh, goodbye for now. See you in the next one. Peace.